Short time ago, she was taken to Mercy Hospital here in the downtown area, and Susie Wynn made her way over there. I'm with Beth Lowry, the spokesperson for Mercy Hospital. And Beth, could you please give us an update on Tatiana's condition? Sure. Um, what we'd like to basically do is reassure all the fans who saw the uh, accident this evening that she's doing very well here at the hospital this evening. Um, she was assessed by Dr. Larry Jones. He is the chief of our trauma services. We are a level one trauma center, which means we have someone here 24 hours. So that was good. Um, but basically, he did the assessment, uh, the appropriate testing, and uh, we are listing her in good condition. We are admitting her overnight primarily for observation. Thank you very much, Beth. All right, Susie, thanks. Peter and Peggy, that's amazing. In it good really condition is. after the fall, which was just, you cringed oh, when you watched that. Yeah, I, I think everybody held their breath, uh -huh. me included. And that's probably the worst accident I have ever seen in competition. Really? And especially, you know, uh, covering the event. I mean, it's uh, amazing. She's doing so well. I think all the prayers of the uh, fans that were here tonight and you know all of us i think it helped <laughs> so they tell so us she will be kept uh, in the hospital overnight for observation perhaps released uh, the next day uh, it, it's amazing peter uh, the, mm -hmm. all the years that you're involved in, in pair skating i'm sure you had some falls but we've talked yeah. about how dangerous this sport is but until you see it you don't really realize it. do you ever see a time when maybe pair skaters are going to be forced to wear helmets well actually possibility but let me answer two parts of this question first of all i think that the pairs are going for such big difficulty in the lifts that yeah. they're pushing the envelope in some of these lifts. And they have to make sure that they're mechanically sound when they're doing the lifts. But having said that, as far as the helmets are going right now, they don't wear them. Little kids wear them sometimes when they're learning lifts. We wore them growing up as kids uh, in pair skating, but you shed them when you're in competition. If falls start to reoccur more often, well, definitely, I think helmets will be investigated. But right now, I don't see that happening. If this continues on on a more regular basis, then possibly. Well, just a, a frightening, frightening incident here uh, in Pittsburgh. But uh, it turns out to be okay, at least, as Tatiana told me on in good condition at Mercy Hospital here in the downtown area.